Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I created this melted Barbie makeup look. If you want to see how I achieved this look and what products I use, then please keep on watching. I already did my base and my brow, so let's go ahead and start with the eyes. I'm taking the Snowy Beauty Primaries palette and I'm laying down that white all over my lids as my base. Next, taking that purple shade and placing that on top of my crease as my transition shade. Moving on to our next eyeshadow color, I'm taking my Sunset Dream Makeup Palette from Detail Makeover and I'm going to take the shade Nightfall. I'm going to place that on my crease just below that purple and I'm going to blend that out to create a gradient. Next, I'm going back in with that same purple shade from the primary palette, and I'm just going to add more pigment on top of the pink shade and I'm going to softly blend that out until it is seamless. Next, I will be cutting my crease and for this, I'm using Blight Cosmetics Starlight Eyes in the shade Cassiopeia. This is very, very pigmented so I don't need to use a concealer anymore when cutting the crease. Whipping out my Delancey palette, I'm taking that pressed glitter in pink and I'm going to lay that right on top of Cassiopeia. If you're going out with this look, I highly suggest that you put down a layer of glitter adhesive or glitter primer first. But since I was just going to take this off after I shot it, I didn't bother doing that. Also, if you're working with glitter, always make sure that you are using cosmetic grade glitter and not glitter from the craft store. Those types of glitters were not designed to be put around your face, let alone your eyes. So please do use cosmetic grade glitter and not the ones that are meant for arts and crafts. Next, I'm just dusting off all of that powder and then I'm going to take that same purple shade from the primary palette and smoke that out on my lower lash line. Using that black shade from the same palette, I just spritzed that with some MAC Fix Plus and now I'm using that as my eyeliner. I really like using this brush. This is actually a nail art brush and I really like using it for eyeliner because it's so fine and it's so thin and it's so easy to use. Next, I'm just going to apply some mascara on my top and bottom lashes, coating that generously. The one I'm using is Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I also opted not to use falsies anymore. I would like to take my break because my lashes are suffering and they've been falling out because I've been using too much falsies lately. So I'm just taking this cream eyeliner pencil from Bobbi Cosmetics and I'm going to apply that to my waterline. This is going to create an illusion of bigger eyes. If you are pale, you can go ahead and use white. However, since I am on the darker side of the skin tone spectrum, I prefer using cream as it looks more natural. Next, for the cheeks, I'm using this blush kit in gradient by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking the shade Vegas and put that all over my cheeks. Next, 
next, I'm taking this Loose Shimmer Powder from Pinky's Collection for my highlights. This was actually marketed as a face powder, but it works really well as a highlight. And as per usual, I'm just going to place that on the high points of my face, such as my cheeks, my nose bridge, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. Next, I will be overlining my lips, and for that, I will be using this EB Advanced Lip Liner in the shade Pink Flame. To fill in the rest of the lips, I'm taking the matching lipstick. This is EB Advance Matte Lipstick in the shade Pink Flame as well. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. My lips, not my lids. And fun fact, this used to be my go-to lipstick shade back when I was in college and I had orange hair, so imagine. <laughs> you can totally stop here if you're going for that glam Barbie look. However, I wanted this to be a melted makeup look, so I created these drips using some hot glue. And I'm just going to put that on my face using some lash adhesive. These were really easy to make. So what I did was I found something that had a flat surface and I laid down some petroleum jelly on top of that. And then I just squirted on some hot glue to mimic drips or wax drips. And then I just repeated that whole process. I suggest that you put these on a part of your face that don't move as much. So I would definitely avoid the forehead and also put it somewhere flat because they don't bend so easily. If you really want to create this using SFX stuff, you can opt for gelatin instead. However, uh, this was a last minute choice. Therefore, I did not have any gelatin lying around the house. And I'm going to be really honest with you guys. This took me a while. This took a total of 30 minutes to apply and wait for it to dry. But this is perfect for those who do not have the time to buy a costume and prepare. This is a great last minute costume idea. You just put on something pink and accessorize and you're done. Also, if you're from the Philippines as well, this is a great depiction on how hot it is in our country. It's so hot that Barbie melted. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't. All of my social media handles will be listed down below, so go ahead and check that out if you want. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!